An update this morning to a story we brought you last week after a student brought two guns to school and now an East Grampy community is demanding answers. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones now joins us live to break down the latest from a special meeting involving parents. Marcy, what went down there? Good morning, Nicole and Wendell. Well, even though an arrest has been made and an investigation is underway, parents say they still left the special meeting that was held last night with a lot more questions than answers. Shortly after 1130 on Friday morning, state police responded to Carl Algrove Elementary after staff discovered two handguns in a student's belongings. According to authorities, the weapons were immediately secured, the student was questioned, and the school was searched. Later that day, police arrested 32-year-old Kenneth Periog, the owner of the guns and father of the student, for reckless endangerment and risk of injury to a minor. But at a special community meeting last night, many parents expressed concern, asking questions like, how did the student obtain the weapons? Why was the school not placed in lockdown? And why did the school wait to announce the threat? As school leaders attempted to answer, some parents still say they are not satisfied. This threat was contained immediately. We would typically go into a lockdown when there was an unknown threat or an active situation going on. They were at recess, and that was the state police's call, essentially, because we weren't notified until, until the state police were allowed the school to notify us. Another repeatedly asked question at the meeting last night was, were those two handguns loaded? And at this time, police are not answering that question. Now, Periog was released on bond and is scheduled to appear in court next week. Reporting live in East Granby, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Marcy, thank you. 630.